Hello, good morning everyone. Right, so we're in the fantastic Lake District again. Uh, we're finally allowed to go wild camping. So, I'm with a few other people. We're gonna go to Castle Crag, uh, camp up there, and look at Millican Dawson's Cave. So it should be a good day and a good evening, but I think it's gonna be a cold one. Um, it's the first time I'm testing out all this camping gear as well, so we'll be able to see what it's like. So we'll get on the walk a little bit and I'll bring you back. You can do it. <coughs> Test some waterproof boots out. It's in! <laughs> you wouldn't have to do it now if I'm doing it. You'd be like, I'm not coming back now. <laughs> Good lad. Craig, just up there, that's where we're going. So, a bit of a higher spot than my first planned camp, but it should be good. I'm supposed to get some pretty cold temperatures as well, morning six to morning eight, I believe, so I'll be able to test my gear out. So this isn't Millican Dalton's cave, but you can get to it through here, so I'm gonna do it that way. It's for the crack. Booster. Oh yeah! So I come around that outdoors. Forgot to tell us about climbing over a wall. All good fun though. Can't lose that. Uh, just watch the top of your pack on that on that ridge above you. Ah, yeah. uh, you're up. You're up, son. Success. <coughs> Not too bad. Something else to climb over now. Do I climb over this? It's a nice little slight feature. What do you think then, Chris? Awesome. I love it. Oh, 
Right, so we've arrived now at Millican Dalton's Cave. Just there, so are we going in? Are we going in I'll go in and show you. I'm not sure what the lighting will be like, but we'll have a go anyway. Are we having it? I would think so. If, if you want, yeah. yeah. We'll go because we can walk into there in a minute, can yeah. we? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so we're about to go in Millican Dalton's cave. Yes, I've took the top off. It is pretty cold. I'm absolutely sweating, so I've left our jackets and tops to uh, dry out a bit. Right, so I'm not sure what you'll be able to see with this. It is pretty dark, but if the weather had been a bit different, this is where we might have camped. It'd be a bit damp like, but I'll take you in there anyway. You can see what it's like. Very slippy though on these rocks, on this slate. Oh, getting more water drips on there. Like oh, this is where the footage, footage is going to go shocking. So I'll turn that way with the uh, GoPro. Yeah, Millican Dalton's Cave near Castle Crag, where we're going to camp. Writing on the walls and that. It's up pretty cool in here. Fire pit in the uh, centre, but seems a bit too far in, really, to me. There's another level up there. Apparently, there used to be a tramp that lived up there for I'm uh, not sure how many years, but had some kitchen work tops. I'll have it all boarded off. See if we can get up there and show you. So that's where I've just been down there. Came in that way. We're going to, uh, it's on the second level. I think there's some writing on the wall here somewhere which Millican Dalton actually writ apparently. I'll show you that now. Don't waste words, jump to conclusions. Pretty cool, right? Millican Dalton's cave. Well, I hope the camera can pick this up, but look how clear this water is. That is amazing. <laughs> oh, it's crack on. Oh. What a view down there. Stopped a little bit more water, as you can see. Lake District water, lovely and clear. No peat in it like in the Peak District. Right, so, it's gonna go up there now. Some awesome views. Just walking along. It's really amazing. So yeah, looking forward to it. Well, it's got the fun bit now. You probably can't see it on the camera, but we go up there, climb up that, oh, to the top of there. So, should be fun. Well, so we've got to go up that. Ah, oh, it's not the best, is it? What do you reckon? <laughs> Good. Great. Should be some good views at the top, though. Hopefully. That was fun. Um, weren't too bad, but I can imagine the rain if it's slippery. It'd be absolutely horrendous. So probably gonna have a frost tonight. So I'm not looking forward to it in the morning, but. Only one way down. All right, so come to a place which I saw on a Cumbrian lad outdoorsy video, um, which we're calling Valley of the Rocks, because all the slates have been sort of placed. If you can see on the camera, they're like. They do, like he said, actually look like greystones. It's really weird how they place them. And over here there's like some sort of little cover an area. Look 
piles of stones, slight. And uh, this little cover here. Oh, it's like a little seat. Awesome. All right, now get to the top, get our spot, and uh, have a bit of a relax. See the wall here. It's a slight stick on it. I'll uh, put one in ourselves. There you go. Oh, so we finally arrived at the top. <laughs> I told Gonna you, find man. our spots now. I'll show you the views from up here. Look at all this. Show this view from over here. See a uh, dormant water. Amazing. Oh. Look at this. All worth it in the end. Here. Views are amazing. <laughs> Got a Derwent water behind me, I think. I probably showed you that earlier, but I'll show you again. We've got a bit of Lake District mist. It's in the distance, it's in a low cloud. See our stuff just down there, which is my worst spot. Let's have a look what this is. It's sort of a war memorial type thing. Be cool up here though. These are amazing. I can't believe I'm still going to actually sleep in a tent overnight on top of this crag. Be careful not to sleep walk in the night though. Well, I'll bring you back at some point later on. Alright, so stop in a nice IPA one of a few as you can see I don't know if you can see but so it's snowing <laughs> yeah that's right so you set up our sights now but my wild country I want compact one here we got snow awesome little tent Paul in the uh, Fox 2 Steve in the Fox One and <coughs> Moose there in the uh, we got the Lanshan Lanshan Flame Creed Lanshan Flame Creed awesome content this is oh it's dirty don't they there's snow on it isn't it <laughs> nice tents beer mountains awesome I was just enjoying some Jim Beam beef jerky. Thank you, Valiant Peak. Uh, look at this, the sun's still on the mountain. Wow, it's getting towards night time now. <sighs> Absolutely awesome, it's just great from everywhere you look. It says, look at this. Can't beat it. Watch as you can see the sun slowly start to set behind the mountains. Got another IPA here. So it's all good. See Derbot Water behind me. And then these have still got a bit of sun on them. 
Oh, it's absolutely amazing. Tents down there, look. Literally can't beat it. Hooked. Hooked on the wild camping life. Enjoying that, Dave. Yeah. Good luck. Alright, so we're just gonna have some food. It's probably seen thousands of times <laughs> on a fire pot meal again, but the taste absolutely <laughs> awesome. Yeah, well, wait right to the next camp. <laughs> Got Steve and Paul both with the Woo! military ration packs. It's brought in there. Beef goulash. Awesome. You got moose over the noodles. Hey, they are warm. I'm not noodles, but I'm having these next. <laughs> Minced mean, Chris, the spicy one. Yeah, they jalapeno awesome. and mozzarella. That's how you do it. Burgers by the camp. So, live and learn. <laughs> right, it's around at this point with all the excitement of being on the camp and being with everyone, having a laugh. I realised I didn't show you my sleep system, my cook system, or what was inside the tent. Those of you who normally watch my videos have seen the various stoves that I've got and there was nothing new there but regarding the sleep system I will show you that in a lot more detail in the next wild camping video that will be up in the very near future so stay posted for that. All I can do is apologise and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. You can see the sun's just come up. Some nice views. Sun just coming on some of the mountains now. Yeah, it's pretty cool night. Uh, pretty cold as well though. I had the, uh, I forgot to show you my sleep system. I had the um, climate insulated static V and the Firma SQ star, but the zero degrees one. There is two more levels after that. I think this one was on its limits. It did get to around minus six, minus seven, I think. I wasn't too cold, but I woke up in the night with you know, a few cold spots on my legs. So I think this will do for the rest of the year, but next winter, I shall probably upgrade to one of the warmer bags. But yeah, it was all right. So anyway, yeah, beautiful sunrise. Just gonna go and finish packing and I'll bring you back in a few minutes. Right, so I'm just about to leave now, so hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, as you can see, leave no trace. I've got my rubbish bags to tie to my bag. Left done. nothing but a few flat bits of grass. So yeah, if you did like it at any point, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Uh, I'll see you very soon on the next video. So, bye for now.